Hello, good morning guys. Today is Wednesday. I've been sick for the entire weekend. I had some kind of stomach bug and I feel like I had a little bit of dehydration going on. I don't know. My therapist, I had a therapy session yesterday and my therapist says something is going around because I'm not the first person she heard talking about just feeling like, just like upset stomach. I've been sweating a lot, lots of bowel movements and um, yeah. It was very stressful, especially because I live by myself and I didn't have anybody to take care of me. <laughs> but anyways, today is a new day. I forced myself to get up last night and do the dishes. I wanted to clean my entire apartment, but that didn't happen. But I am up, I've taken a shower, I've done my skincare, glowy queen, and I've decided that I am going to do a load of laundry, just one load, because I need some stuff that is dirty right now. And I have a few things that I want to get moving and started. I wanted to start my day, you know, ready for the day, made up. But because I was up until like 3 a.m. last night, just struggling to do the dishes, I fell asleep and I didn't wake up until after eight. So a late start to my day, but I am going to sort the laundry and take that load to just 700 feet up the street. I do have laundry in my building, but I'm not going down in that basement. Um, <laughs> and the laundry 700 feet up the street is very nice and everything is brand new, all the machines are new. I'll have a reel up of me in that laundry mat because I was waiting for my clothes to dry and I was just enjoying myself. If that reel goes up before this video, go check it out on, on my Instagram. I'm gonna link my Instagram right here. And um, I'm gonna sort the laundry and get up to doing that because I still have my bed to spread. I have like a whole situation going on here that needs to get done and See, I'm in like my get shit done dress. This is like the dress that I clean in and do all the chores around the house. So let's go. Okay guys, so my apartment's a little bit dark because there's construction going on next door and I try to keep my blinds closed just for privacy and because I feel like I'm also being sexually harassed by these workmen. So, I am currently ready for the laundry mat. So I've got, got my laundry down here. I've got my slippers over there. Don't worry about it. I'm coming home to clean. And um, yeah, let's go do laundry. Laundry day, yay. Bless the hearts of all those who have laundry in their apartment. I envy you and I pray that your coffee is just a little bit hotter than you like it. Okay, all right, all right, maybe not that. Um, I'm not gonna be mean. Have your coffee the way you like it, okay? I'm just jealous, that's it. Okay guys, I am back from the laundry and I am hungry. I am grumpy <laughs> and I feel like I need to eat something before I go rogue and just kill everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna kill anybody. So. I normally take my vitamins and stuff in the morning, but I forgot because I woke up late, like I said. So now I'm going to wash my hands from the laundry situation and I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my vitamins and my little ginger turmeric shot. Hopefully it will perk me up a little bit and then we can move on to other things for the day. Over here next to my stove, I have my little vitamin counter situation. I actually found this underneath my cupboards and I spray painted it gold because why not gold? I'm gonna take some biotin, some iodine, some of this vegan probiotic. I'm gonna take one active charcoal and then I'm taking a few other things for parasitic maintenance and then I have a turmeric shot so Trust me, I do not like to like chug pills. It's not it for me, but what can I do? I normally take some diatinaceous earth with this as well, but I'm, I ran out of diatinaceous earth, so I'm just gonna chug these. <laughs> Oh, 
sometimes I just feel like it's it just takes so long to go down so I make my turmeric shots myself in here I just have lots of turmeric ginger and lemon juice so I know I'll just give it a shake up because the turmeric normally settles at the bottom cheers okay not the best taste but it's something so now that that's done i am going to go ahead and make myself something to eat and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make myself a nice quick little smoothie i'm gonna start off with some coconut milk because i feel like that's a good place to start so i normally do 16 ounces then i take my arcane vegan protein add some spirulina that much spirulina matcha Chia seeds, that much chia seeds, and avocado. Let's do the test. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have my breakfast and then I'm gonna start tidying up or cleaning my apartment. Today should be a deep clean, but we don't know. So let's see what happens, okay? Okay guys, so I finished eating my breakfast and I'm telling you, I do not want to do any chores. I feel like I have the midday blues because it is around 1.14 and I just feel, I don't know if, if it's my sickness that's still like with me, but I just feel maybe a little lazy or a little like lethargic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drink some water and I'm gonna power through this because I really do have to clean up my apartment today and I cannot just continue living this very, excuse me, untidy life. So I'm going to pop you on a tripod and we're going to do a, a time lapse of me cleaning because I've never done a time lapse on YouTube before. So let's do that. All right. Let's do a time lapse. Let's do a time lapse. Okay. So let me show you guys what I'm working with right now. Okay. So this is what the sick queen bed is looking like. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's, there's towels in here. I don't know how this got on the bed. My pajamas that I never got to put on last night because I was just so sick that I just got out of my robe and just like laid on the bed. I got my computer over there there I don't know what's going on and then over here in my lounge area this is a studio apartment I just have random things I have things just hanging on my couch a backpack my robe that I took off this morning after showering this I use for my picnics my computer case just stuff on the ground the laundry that I did my desk area is looking a mess so I've got to tidy that up the bathroom needs some tidying we've got to tidy up this area the kitchen needs some tidying I'm gonna pop you on a tripod and we're gonna get on with this cleaning Okay guys, a brief intermission here because I just found out that I've got a stain on my duvet cover. So I wanna show you guys how I get that out and get rid of situations like that. I'm gonna give you my remedy. So if you ever have a mark in your comforter, have stains on your whites, this is the way to go. I've perfected this remedy and today is the day that I share that with you. This is one of my 
nerdy cleaning tips. Like I was saying, I put my baking soda in glass jars because I don't want scent to get in them when I'm not using them. And I also have some hydrogen peroxide here. This is a 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I just have a little container here, just a scooper. This is a, maybe this is like an ounce scooper. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take maybe half a spoon of baking soda and then I'm just going to cover the baking soda with hydrogen peroxide. And that is basically my cleaning agent. This is how I never have to take off my duvet covers every time I get a stain because I have compulsive nosebleeds and like bloody nose in the mornings and I gotten a full blown nosebleed as if I had pneumonia the other day. That was scary. And so when I wake up in the morning and I blow into my tissue, I normally have like bloody snot. Don't know where that's coming from because I do have a humidifier, so I don't know. My theory is that it's something spiritual. Okay, so I'm cleaning and I'm seeing stains on my duvet cover. I do not like to sleep on a stainy duvet cover, or I just don't like when stains are on my sheets, bed, pillows. It just makes me feel a little like gross. So I'm gonna show you the stain and then I'm going to show you a few other little spots that I have and how I clean them without having to wash my duvet cover right now. Now in a couple of days, I'm going to do my whites and my colored laundry. So this is going to go in the wash anyway. So don't worry about it. You still can do this and throw your sheets or whatever into the wash immediately after. Doesn't really matter for me I, I'm not doing that right now I'm not sure if you guys can see that stain right there on my sheets I don't like it it's a big stain I don't know if that is my drool if that's makeup I don't know what that is but I'm gonna get it out I also have a few blood spots around here and this is probably from me blowing my nose or something like that that's on here so with my little mixture here just gonna rest that there I'm going to just dip into my mixture and just spread it over the stain. Dip and spread. That's basically what I'm gonna do. And I use a cotton, and I try to pick up some of the, the baking soda from the bottom, because the baking soda will settle at the bottom. I give a little gentle rub, but not anything major. You know, because this is not a very thick fabric. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but this is like, the stain is like leaving immediately. Like, remember I start over here. There is no stain. Let's do it over here and show you guys how this just literally makes every stain from your sheets from your clothing, disappear. This works on blood. I know blood is a major thing for people on their sheets. Blood is a major reason why people will throw out their sheets and stuff, but oh my gosh, guys. I've been wanting to share this with you guys for quite some while now, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to share this because I only learned this like, I don't know, like a month ago, and I'm a full grown adult woman living by herself who is a clean freak and, um, um, where's the stain? Where is the stain? Where? Where is the stain? You can see where it's like a little wet right here, but where's the stain? And the wonderful thing about this part or this like fabric treatment is that it doesn't leave a ring around where where it was wet and that is just amazing. I put I put a little bit right there because there was a blood spot there and now I'm going to like try to like scrub it out a little bit and see if it it normally comes out. Sometimes it just needs a little bit a time to soak especially if the, the blood stain was like dried on there or just a little bit older but it normally comes out let's try it on these stains over here these are blood spots from my nose um like i said i have that issue i'm trying to make an appointment to see my doctor but they won't pick up the phone i don't know what's going on i need to check out on my nose and on my knees because i've been having knee problems recently and as you can see, this one has kind of disappeared. This one needs a little bit more love, so I'm gonna try to get some of the pasty thing at the bottom and just, you can leave that on there for 10 minutes and come back to it. It will be gone. As you can see, the other blood spot is gone. I just have this one that is just a little bit more deep and dried into the fabric. Guys, that's literally how I get rid of stains these days. Like, I do not 
throw out my whites anymore i literally and i'm i actually use the the hydrogen peroxide and the baking soda on my teeth as well they're a great like whitening solution and i'm i'm like happy i'm so happy i'm super stoked about it like you guys have no idea how happy i am about just finding this remedy <laughs> It's like I found gold at the end of the rainbow. It's it's amazing what you can do and just the things that I find on my sheets sometimes. You know, mostly blood. Not from my period, but from this cute little button nose on my face. And oh, also, I have actually used this to take out stains from my sheet from pen marks. I've used it on my couch. I've used it on my carpet, like as a stain remover from my carpet. But I added a little bit of soap in with it for my carpet. Guys, this solution, like you don't even need to buy any like strong detergents anymore. And I've also started using this same strategy in my white clothing. I normally bring baking soda and hydrogen peroxide to the laundry and use them to whiten my whites. And my whites are looking white and pretty and just amazing i also <laughs> use another item for my whites which i was put on by jackie Ina because i was ready and prepared to send to jamaica to get some cake soap if you know you know if you know what cake soap is friend you know <laughs> because my whites were just not looking white my friend they weren't but so let me show you what i also add to my ring cycle in the wash to keep my whites looking white and pearly and pretty okay so this is what i use for my whites it's called the dr stewart's liquid bluing concentrate it's non-toxic and it's biodegradable i know i'm looking a little rough today but guys bear with me okay i'm still sick i'm like pushing through this illness i don't even know what it is a bug i don't know but this is what i use let me tell you i'm gonna link everything that i talk about in this video in the description bar but one thing you need to know about this product use it sparingly and ensure that everything is completely dissolved before you put it into your machine to put onto your clothes because if there's any streaks that are not fully mixed in and dissolved then streaks will come out on your fabric this has happened to me before so i had to continue to experiment to ensure that i found you know the best strategy to use this product because i was getting blue streaks on my white clothes and I was pissed and mad and not happy but then I realized oh my gosh when I looked into the water because you have to mix this with water when I looked into the water there were streaks just like spinning around saying hey I'm here and so I had to take that into consideration and just like mix it very sparingly and ensure that all the streaks are like out so those are what I use to keep my fabric white clean fresh because I don't know if you guys know I love a white button down and I have a collection of white button downs and they need to stay white and fresh so and I love a white sheet as well so those are what I use to keep my whites white and I will link everything down below where you can get these products and keep baking soda in your house it is just and hydrogen peroxide and distilled vinegar it, they're just and essential oils because they're just the shiznit okay Okay guys, so as you can see, that is where the baking soda, where the, the bloody stain was. Bloody stain where? Yellow stain where? Blood spot where? 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 Ladies, I'm telling you, if you wanna keep your whites white, this is an ad for baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. How am I doing? Baking soda. Oh, I'm so hot. Why am I so hot and looking so rough today? Guys, please, I apologize for the roughness. Hopefully I get to, you know, make myself up and look presentable for this vlog because I did not intend to start my day looking rough. I mean, I'm beautiful. Look at me. Gorgeous. Gorgeous girl. But just like not the ace. I'm looking like country girl in the woods, which I am at heart. I'm I'm not from the country, but I love the country and I love the woods. You know, tilling the soil in the garden, planting her tomatoes. <laughs>
nothing is wrong with that i actually want to be that girl i would love to be that like cottage core rustic girl that's what i'm looking like just in her front garden with her cute little shovel and rake and just like plant with a basket don't forget the basket I, I you have to have the basket nice little basket you know picking the tomatoes and planting new veggies okay i'm doing too much i need to get back to cleaning and let, let's get back to cleaning because that's what i need to be doing girl because i need to finish cleaning before three because it's like after one now so as much as i want to be here talking about this cleaning solution i'm gonna get back to the clean no i'm just like spitting like what the heck I'm gonna get back to the cleaning and just like get into it and just like you know spread this bed and just like clean stuff all right let's do it Okay guys, the hair has gone up, the hat's off because I am hot and I am sweating profusely more than I normally do. And like I said, I'm sick, but I am really pushing through this because I do not intend to be sick especially because I live by myself and I don't have anybody to take care of me. So I wanted to show you guys another way how I use this and I'm glad that this happened so that you guys can literally see how powerful this is concoction is okay let's go here on my couch i've got a few spots i have this little stain i don't know what that is it looks like oil i have a dot over here something is going on right there i've got something here and then perfect i've got a pen mark there do you see that okay i still have my concoction here i'm gonna start with the pen mark and i'm just going to dip it in and just i'm gonna try to just leave a little bit of paste on there so that it just starts kind of like lifting that and i'm gonna come back to that i'm gonna come over here and we're gonna dip that in there and it's okay if it gets onto to the rest of the couch because it's not gonna do anything to the rest of the couch to be honest 
where's the other one right here i prefer to spot treat than to wait for it to get bigger and then i can't because i love this couch this is my first couch ever it's a pink couch and so i have to keep it in tip top shape and then i have this one over here that, i don't know what that is it's probably a pen mark as well okay so i'm gonna come back over here and i'm sorry that i'm like a granny about this but these are the things that get me off and we're just gonna scrub the material just a little bit not too much and i don't know if you're seeing that but it's literally disappearing in front of our eyes look at that it's literally disappearing in front of our eyes is there still ink there what were you trying to be stubborn there sir get out of my couch leave us leave us we will not we will not i refuse i refuse to have you stick around sir get away oh here it is okay so i think that's mostly done we're gonna come back over here and we're going to where is she there she is it's not wanting to focus I'm gonna screw up that a little there she is Grab that just a little bit and she should be gone as well then we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna scrub that scrub 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 also guys what is this illness like look at me i am sweating profusely and i do not even know why um my apartment is hot because i don't have an ac but this is the illness if and look if anybody has had this let me know let me know what you've taken i'm an all natural babe so don't tell me antibiotics because i haven't taken antibiotics in years and i am not about to start now especially because i'm like cleansing my body but guys i'm talking about like upset stomach like the bubbly stomach frequent visits to the bathroom feeling weak and lethargic sweating profusely Tell me, tell me if you guys, if anybody has had this illness. I don't know, but I'm powering through because I'm a strong, powerful queen. So let me continue with this cleaning process. Okay guys, I I know I look rough, but don't come for me, really. I'm I'm doing the best that I can right now. Being sick and all and being extremely sweaty. Why? But anyways, I'm taking a break because breaks are necessary and i just wanted to show you guys the progress on the couch let me get down on my knees here so as you can see there's some 
white spots where the baking soda and the hydrogen peroxide was. This is where the pen stain was. What I'm doing is I'm just dusting out the baking soda out of the fabric. That's why we have that white mark because it's the baking soda. And look at that, no pen mark. Perfect. Let's just remove the baking soda out of the fabric and look at that. Perfect. There's another spot somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. And voila, marks where? On my pink couch where? Let's move that out of the way. So just a little pointer is that the, the solution can be just a little bit harsh on the fabric. Like you can see the stain has gone, but it's still, I don't know if it's wet or the fabric is just sticking together a little bit. Give it a couple days, keep rubbing it to soften up the fabric. If you have fabric softener, you can totally mix it with water and spray it on the spot just to soften up the fabric. But I kid you not, this will not bleach your fabric. The parts that you do, may be a little bit coarse but you can use diluted fabric softener to get that out no big deal no big deal i'm going to sit here oh whoa whoa you're too close to me you're too close <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna sit here and sweat out my illness. Oh my gosh, I'm looking so raw. Oh, can she just lay the edges though? Can she just lay her edges? Um, she will eventually. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and sweat a little bit, rest a little bit, take a little intermission because illness is kicking in. Don't I look like I'm sick? I kind of do. My energy may not be saying that because I am pushing, okay? Not forcefully, but I refuse to be in bed for another day. Just doing sleep and rest and those things are fabulous. But once my apartment is tidy and clean, then I can get some productive stuff done. And tonight I can have a nice restful sleep, but I have so many things to do and I cannot afford to basically rest it sounds like bad don't do what i do <laughs> but it's only because i know how much i can push myself and i have a good leash on that um if you are incapacitated and you know that you cannot go you cannot push yourself and let me tell you i'm not it's it's like a mindset thing i'm literally telling myself hey don't force anything but try to tell yourself that you have energy tell yourself that you can get things done in a nice soft manner not in a very aggressive pushy go do this go do this like in fear type of thing i just know that if i continue to allow my apartment to go to the dogs soon i'm gonna go to the dogs so i have to take care of my environment so that i can take care of myself if that makes sense because this may be a very very tiny studio but if I allow things to just pile up on me you know the laundry the, the dirt on the floors like you know my desk my lounge area my kitchen like if I allow things to just go then girl I look at the hands I kid you not I will be down there with the demons as well and do I look like a queen that deserves to be amongst demons she may look rough now but I shall give you a taste of the queen later on in this vlog, but I have to. I'm just like showing you my nails. <laughs> Look at my nails, how cute. I did them myself. I can link them in the description. They're like gel press-on nails from Aurora. Love them. <laughs> but um, yeah, if I allow myself to go too deep into not tidying up then soon the demon starts knocking at my door and girl i don't like demons i like angels and like ethereal things and beautiful things and beautiful people okay that angle was not working for me i don't know what i was doing <laughs> but um yeah i truly have to get my life right my stomach feels a little bit better, ain't gonna lie. I haven't 
okay i did go to the bathroom last night and that felt like it was a part of the, the illness but so far this morning my stomach feels a little bit better i've been hydrating which is good i need to keep hydrating because i'm losing water through sweat and i ate something which you know eating minimally when i'm sick is like the best thing just not trying to force food down my throat is good i'm probably gonna make a nice miso soup later on today a simple miso i love a miso soup and i love a loaded miso if, if you know what a loaded miso soup is oh my gosh watch the double chin no no oh no um but am i babbling on too much i don't know i'm just trying to share what's like a nice simple meal to eat to just remove the gas from your stomach and to just you know give you some nutrients my miso soup can always or normally consist of soy sauce filtered water edamame scallion or green onions i like to do silken tofu in there and if i have mushrooms i'll put mushrooms in there what else do i normally put in my miso garlic 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 powder yeah and if i have like radish or any like herbs like if i have if i have sage i'll put sage in there is it sage that i normally put in there yeah is it sage or is that called something else i'm not sure but yeah my miso soup is really good i'm gonna give you guys a recipe because i don't know if you guys know but i am keto vegan right now and i'm telling you guys i have lost so much weight doing keto as a vegan and i know it's hard because as a vegan you already kind of have like a limited well i i don't think i'm limited when when i'm like what is happening right now like get out of my face what is happening girl stop doing that stop giving me away look at me <laughs> looking like weird looking like i don't know i'm just looking like a chicken <laughs> chicken head but um yeah so i've lost so much on keto so far and i've been loving it it i've been feeling oh my gosh <laughs> i've been losing weight feeling lighter feeling healthier feeling good and rejuvenated in my body i love keto vegan like and i do kind of have like a mini series on my foodstagram at cooking with saudia where i share like what i eat in a day keto vegan so if you're interested you can follow me there and check out my highlight vegan keto just in case you're vegan and you're wondering like what do i eat because like this is such like a restrictive diet you know but i can tell you i've been loving it i've been loving it i've been loving i've been enjoying the journey and on top of vegan keto i've been vegan keto intermittent fasting as well which girl those two things together those two things together is like the key to rapid weight loss and i've also been following dr berg because i got put on to dr berg i don't know the universe just aligned dr berg and i and i've just been watching his videos learning about keto learning about intermittent fasting learning about natural remedies and just learning so much about my body and i just love dr berg dr berg you are the best and i love you so much like i just love you <laughs> and um what else so i also follow this girl on youtube her name is lydia dinga congrats she just got married congrats lydia if you ever see this video but she has like she's lost a rapid amount of weight doing just walking and i love to run i love to do yoga i love to work out and i've been walking a lot in my mind i'm like i'm doing the dinga step challenge but i'm literally doing the dinga a step challenge by myself she had like a dinga step challenge competition earlier in the summer i was not on my keto journey at that time so i did not join but right now in my mind i'm doing the dinga step challenge so lydia send me send me one of those watch okay i need i need a smart watch so 
<laughs> or if you want to send me a watch <laughs> that's funny but um yeah so i've been walking a lot i walk up to griffin park every day and i make a turn at the end of the park where the big waterfall um used to be i don't know why this year there's no waterfall the waterfall isn't out this year i'm not i'm not happy about that but i turn around at the waterfall and and then head back down i normally stop at ralph if i need to pick up something for dinner or lunch or anything like that and i walk back back home on Western Avenue or any route and that loop is like a three mile walk yeah why am I giving you like kind of like directions to where I live do not show up at my house please but I do live walking distance from Griffin Park so it's easy for me to just walk up there not all the way to the observatory okay to the the, the beginning of the park okay uh, the beginning like where you go through the little jungle yeah I go through the little the little jungle and up to the where the water fountain used to be, like the waterfall used to be, and I'd make a turn around because I'm not walking further than that all the way from my house. So I've been doing that religiously and for the past like two or three days I haven't done that because I've been sick and like in bed. But I would love to do that tomorrow and possibly I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow. I am talking a whole Whole lot says the girl who needed a break to rest is this a break resting or is this like a chat along and it's funny cuz I follow another girl on YouTube her name is Lydia she's English oh my gosh I recently found her and I am obsessed with her but this is what I always say about Lydia Lydia is such a chatterbox but look at me I am chatting away like like nobody's business like I'm chatting okay like I've literally sat here and spoken for like 15 minutes I, I don't know if you guys are counting time but I'm seeing the time frame on the camera and I'm just like damn Sada you've been chatting yeah I've been chatting so I'm going to take a break an actual break and then I'm gonna get back to cleaning and tidying up and hopefully I can unbox some Amazon packages with you today. If not, it shall be a tomorrow event. And I also have a Savage X Fenty event tomorrow that I'll be going to. And I want to, I want you guys to help me pick my outfit. And I, I also have some beauty care and some, I need to um, wash and straighten my hair today and then do a facial because the girl has not done a facial in three weeks now. It's coming up three weeks and I'm beginning to feel, you know, things forming under, <gasps> oh my God, my nail left me. Oh dear, how dare her, what a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that back on but I felt it coming off earlier when I went to the laundry I was like this is lifting so I'll just put on a new one onto that because we shall not show up to a Savage X Fenty event without or like accent nail like what we shall not do that so what I think we're going to do today is right we're going to finish tidying up I'm going to need you guys's help on what to wear to that Fenty event tomorrow I'm going to wash and straighten my hair because I've been wanting to straighten my hair for the longest time. Um, one, because I want to see the length of my hair straighten. I want to change up my hairstyle too. And I also want to see the split ends so that I can trim them. So that would be a good thing. Thing to see and to do so I got a new hair straightener from Amazon and I'm going to be testing it out today so um, we'll see how that goes later on after I finish tidying up so I'm gonna catch you guys on the flip side of cleaning I'm gonna take a break I'm done talking now bye
guys I am still in this green dress it's still the same day I'm still cleaning it is currently let's see it is 7 28 and I can tell you this much I've taken plenty of breaks why I am sick and I'm gently pushing myself which means I'm allowed breaks in this cleaning process but the thing is that I am almost done. I only have the floors left, a few of these dishes to wash, and I have a little bit of like meal preppy type things. So not much. Too many else have gone missing. I don't know where they went. I, I was using some really harsh chemicals. So they left the party. <laughs> and um, honestly, I can tell you guys, I've been pushing myself. I feel tired. I've been sweating a lot, drinking lots of water. I should drink some water right now because feeling a little dehydrated. Okay, got my water. Um, I was listening to Jacqueline Hurst um, just a few moments ago, just laying down on the couch, just trying to get inspired because I can tell you this much, my solar plexus is murdering me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but this area here, man, murderation. So I had planned to do the floors and then the dishes and then the meal preppy type thing, but I've decided to do all the, the wash up and the meal prep and then make the floors be the last thing that I do and then just call it a night. Well, I have a few other beauty hair stuff to do. I have to do my hair and I have to do a facial and I have to choose my outfit for the Savage X Fenty event tomorrow. I don't know what the event is, okay? I just got a ticket and I'm hoping to God that Rihanna is there. If Rihanna does not show up tomorrow and I go all the way to Colbert City for nothing, I'm going to be pissed, okay? Rihanna needs to be in store and listen, because <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> you can tell I haven't been out um, recently. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna carry on with this wash up. So let's do this. dishes as you can see no dishes in the sink everything is clean however 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 I am tired I'm feeling a little bit better in my solar plexus but now I have a little bit of like meal prep situation to do for like my snacks so let's do that because if I take another break girl mm.
Okay guys, honestly, I forgot to do my regular variety of chocolate and matcha. And you know what I came up with? On the day that I want to have chocolate or matcha, I'll just put the chocolate or matcha powder into the chia seed pudding. No big deal. So because I'm kind of like done with the chore part of this day and this day being so chore centric <laughs> and um, I can't deal anymore. So I want to move on to the rest of my chores. <laughs> So I have a facial to do and I have to wash and blow dry my hair and maybe do a little bit of treatment as well as straighten my hair, which I haven't done in a while. So it's going to be like silk straight for tomorrow. Let's see how that goes because, or maybe I will wash it and treat it and blow dry it and straighten it tomorrow. We shall see because I'm tired of this day and I'm tired of this day being so chore centric. In the meantime and between time, let's go choose our outfit for the Savage X Fenty event. I'm excited. Let's do that. Okay guys, welcome to my closet. It is a very tiny closet, but everything is organized and color coordinated from white all the way back to black and burgundies and colors like that. So I have two options for this Fenty event. I'm thinking we could wear this jumpsuit with like a white wide leg pant, you know, like something very structured and cute and wear it with like a pump. That would be like a power move, right? And I'm also thinking, okay, so there could be like three, three, three <laughs> dresses. I'm thinking this dress, this, this dress that I got at um, Zara that I showed in my last video. This could be a Savage X Fenty event dress. It's very sexy, a little lower back action, a nice mauve cool tone brown. But what I've been really thinking about is maybe I should do a Rihanna inspired outfit. I have this like, you call it like a dungaree? I'm not sure. We are a jumpsuit. It, it's like this. I'm gonna like put maybe like a photo of it right here. So I'm thinking maybe this with like a white fluffy sleeve top like this and like a pump, like a white pump. Or if not a white pump, I'm thinking, let's put this right up here. If not a white pump, I'm thinking like these boots would also like elevate this like dungaree jumpsuit type of look. I call these like my neo boots. I think I bought these from either Misguided or Nasty Gal. So I'm thinking either these boots with this or like a cute pump. This one's from Ego. So I'm thinking actually this is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So it's going to be a toss up between one of these shoes. You guys are going to see what this outfit looks like tomorrow put together. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking red lips. I have like a heart shaped red bag that I think could work or I could just wear my white bag that I wore on my birthday. I don't know. I'm just thinking something structured. As you guys can tell, I'm sweating. I tell you, I just keep sweating. Just something structured and cute, but I think this is what I'm going to wear. I've decided. This is it. And I'm just going to put this at the front of my wardrobe right up here so that it's easy to access and I don't have to look for anything. And guys, I'm going to take a long break before I clean these floors because I deserve a break. I'm really tired and I'm, I'm sick. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side tomorrow because it's a wrap for today. It's a wrap. Mm -mm. I'm done.